Wake up! I said at the same time this time and not with a delay. Hey there, everyone. This is Ow Cow playing Outer Wilds, the out of the Wilders. What words are coming out? I know, last time I tr. Yeah, right. Last time I tried to explore the Quantum Moon, but, you know, the Quantum Moon has its own challenges and reasonings. Uh, I don't know where that sentence came from. Point is, we're gonna try again. And it's right there, making itself very easy to see. Here you go, little friend. Let us engage the autopilot. Let's, whoa, is that good enough? Probably not. Sun was hungry for little scouts. How about now? Uh, could be better. Could be better. Could be better. Like, I don't know, man. I'm... Maybe that's good? Okay, like, can't have more than that. You're like right next to the sun, I realize. That can be a problem? Maybe it will. Alright, let's match that velocity. Yeah, go a little closer. Match, match velocity. Or not? Okay, match velocity. Don't... Don't disconnect your connection with it, it's like sometimes I do. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so we are Ember Twin. That's when we're like right next to the sun. Sure. Alright, so. I need to get up. I did. Alright, so I need to find the shrine. I need to not jump out completely out of this planet's tiny, tiny little stratosphere. And I need to find my way to the North Pole, where something is going to something, I'm sure. And I can warp around if I find a friendly little shrine. Instead, I find here a spaceship that can send me quite far. There we go. That looks like... No, that's sand. So, like, it's like the moon doesn't have an identity of its own, but rather simulates what is around it, which is super weird. It just goes a little bit faster, right? But, whoa, there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shrine. Where are you? I mean, strictly speaking, is the right stat to, like, turn around a lot? I don't know, because here it is, jutting out of the horizon. Yeah, so there's just, like, nothing for me here, it feels like, because the rocks are just in the way, so... We're going to change area... ...and, uh, look around. Like, that is... ...what things are gonna look like for a little bit. Alright, so... And I am in the dark. Yeah, I'm locked in. I heard a little ding. So just confirming that we are now with... Okay, we are now in the modal of uh, Giant's Deep. Maybe we can have a walk around, to see if I can make it any closer to the middle. Because I've definitely went here. Yeah, look at that. See how open it is. This is outright super nice and super weird. Okay, but what I suspect... Oh... It's in this, isn't it? It's in the giant maelstrom. That's where the North Pole is. So I think what I want to do... Is find... Like, spawn basically... Uh, no, whoa, yeah, I just got, like, pushed. Like, if you go against it, whoa. You get rudely tossed aside like a plate of bacon. Uh, so what I want, yeah, let's see if I if I can get a shrine to appear close. Because... Thank, yeah, there you go. Thank you, shrine. Uh, you appeared close. <laughs> Alright, let's close the door. Close the light, rather. Now I can close the door. Alright. We are gonna hear a ding. Or not. I didn't hear a thing, but I did hear the grumbles of- so now we are... Okay, so we're back at Ash Twins. Let's see if we are inside 
the... Yes, we are, I think, right? I do have access. Oh, yeah. Okay. Not finishing my thoughts. I hope you don't mind. Uh, I'm right at the North Pole now. Is that the shrine I just used? So I don't know if it's North Pole enough. No, no, no! Here it's right in the middle! Okay. Meaningful. Scary. Honestly, it is super scary. The eye of the universe. So these re re recycle, like they, re they restart between loops. So last time I was like, hey, did it not save me getting those? I think it did. It's just that, you know, they don't save between loops. So do I just kind of do that until I end up at the eye? I can do that. Now we're in brambles. Moon's going all over the place. Now we're at there. Timberheart. Because I am at a North Pole. Can't be... Mm, can't be more North Pole than this. The Flores Quantum Matter. Yeah. I think this is... The true identity of the Quantum Moon. It is not chameleoning like anything. It is itself. Oh wow. Okay. So is the eye of the universe just a big quantum fabric? Could be. There's some jigglies up there. Having fun. You know? Fun with the jigglies. Like this weird yeah, this is all quantum stone. With a very clear path downward. I do not dare jump, because I don't want to um, leap out of the atmosphere if I can help it. But this is a clear slice through the planet that leads down to uh, the South Pole. Well, there's clearly something happening there. Okay. Hey. Hey, I knew this was going to happen. Sentence. Do you want to try again? I knew this was going to happen. It's a no my. Wow. Uh. I know where I. Oh. So this is probably me, because that's what they see my head as being. It's like, rah, 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 but then, mine, 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 mine. Um, can I, yeah, I don't, oh, pick up, one moon, oh, you just casually, what, you guys are not scientists, you are wizards. Uh. Okay. What does what what happens now? Oh, pick up explain identify. That is nuts. Wow, that is instant. This is the quantum moon. Sweet. This is not the word. Okay, and uh, uh. Also, also, the body quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. Okay, so we are orbiting the eye of the universe. Sweet. Well, thank you for the identification. Now you're gonna explainerate. This is the best system we got, I guess. Yes, I did. That is correct. Whoops. Right. I kind of got the gist of that. Quantum moon is the eye's moon. So you leave that any character to the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. That's why you couldn't find it, right? It's because it's quantum and it's hard to track. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, 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 like the tree that moves around. Okay. Fair enough. Um... So that's me, right? Yeah, me. Explain what is me. <laughs> Same as mine. Learn about and to find the eye of the universe. That's it, huh? I feel like it's more efficient. I don't know what's what's the most efficient way of exchanging info here. Uh, but uh, we're gonna get talked to. Yeah. Hey. Thank you! I take good care of them. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is kind of a one-way conversation. Because I just so happen to know how to understand you. But you do not have a way to understand me. So yeah, they just communicate super fast this way. Uh, so for my birth, and we now call it home. Yep, I deduced that. I followed your footstep to end up here. For my first pilgrimage. Are we outside of time? Because your first pilgrimage was a while ago. Yeah. We need here to be close to the eye, and while the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. Alright. Uh, okay. Well, these are kind of things I can kind of deduce. Alright. Eye of the universe. Talk to me about this. What is going on with that eyeball? Uh, there's a fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, the uncertainty is only visible on a very small scale. However, the uncertainty grows enormously. So it's a physics aberration? Macroscopic is a fun word to see. Yeah, yeah. What does that mean? So what if a conscious observer entered the eye itself, which is a gigantic quantum thing? That feels like a bad thing? I don't know. I don't know if I understand the ramification that that would entail. We cannot see it. Only one was the eye is older than the universe itself. And my clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this star system. End of sentence. And I think I did every every possibility. Um, unless there's something I'm missing. Unless I can like. Take this, for example, and mix it up with you. Does that do anything? Uh-oh. Maybe it does. Oh, jeez. No kidding. It's hard to conversate. Hey. No problems with that. Uh... I kind of want to see how everything attaches to the eye at this point. Honestly, at this point, at this point. I believe the eye called to us for a particular purpose. Uh huh. That's a interesting thing to just kind of pop out like that. <laughs> Up, quantum moon. Quantum moon and the quantum sun planet. 
eyeball. Yeah, I have. Uh, Let's be similar, yeah. Oh, right. Wait, so if you were to enter the eye, then you would become as the eye, or the eye would become as to you. Logically, right? That is true. Is that what we really want to do? We want to enter the eye? I... That feels like a terrible idea, but... I mean... That seems to be <laughs> what your clan has been working towards. Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? I don't know. Like, that would destroy the you. I- would it? I am uncertain what I have or not tried at this point. I think this is the last combination. It is. It's your first time here for millennia. I, uh... I think I did all the combo of... signals. Uh... I can do that. Yeah, you can write and move these with magic and create them, but, uh... I can do that. Look at that, huh? Can you... Can you do that? I can... Oh boy. Ooh, wait. It's a nanoscope. It's a quantum moon. You are not in distress. I... I think I did every combination. But... I feel like... That didn't help all that much. Beyond knowing that... There's an eye. This is attached to it. We might be able to use this. Wait a second, so what if I go straight up? Will I be at the eye? No. It brought me back to... This is the um, Timberheart version. How would I have been able to keep it there? Would have I been able to keep it there? Is that what I'm trying to discover now? How to be able to leave that part? No, because the Nomai have visited there for a while, and they've never been able to leave. So, you know, implying that you can't just jump. You can't just leave that way. But then... How do? Where's my ship? My ship meter is nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be found. Because it's on... Uh, another version of this. When I entered the sand zone, sand time, right? I don't know if I did everything that I was supposed to. I never went to the brittle hollow version of the moon. Let's see what that looks like. It's very dark. That's because it was a wall in my face. It's very gray. Rocks are flying. Whoops. Wrong button. It happens. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I got what I needed. What I need what I wanted. I do not know. 
can leave. And, uh, we can, like, return to, I don't know, man, Riddle Hollow that way and get hurt severely, because the entire seed belt. Where am I? Is there anything I want to do here? The goal of the game, of my little venture, at this point, is to make contact with the eye of the universe. Which just sounds like a terrible idea, but it's what we're up to here. Look at that, just instant. Because what happens... Hey, my ship exists. What happens when uh, a conscious observer comes into contact with what is ostensibly pure creativity? Oh, God damn it. You'd s that path was a bad path! It's interesting because I did something very big and very important. But also, I feel like... I don't know what I've done. I don't know what this means yet. Was I at the right place? But I just don't have the information to know what to do? Was I just there too early? Or... Is that what there is to get? And I just don't have enough context form everything I need yet. Is the correct option at this point of where I am in the game to absorb uh, what just happened and keep on going? I think that just might be it. Where's my ship? I'm like, oh, why is my ship all the way there? Because, no. Okay, I know what probably happened. It was on a quantum moon, then the quantum moon went away to a different place, but the ship didn't follow it, and so it was just drifting for a while. That wouldn't make sense. All right. Goodbye once more, son. See you again tomorrow. Or yesterday? <laughs>